this is where we're going to actually start looking at um, how you can report on what you're doing and what you're actually optimizing on a monthly or, or yearly basis. So the first one we're going to look at is just overall trends for optimized pages. Um, this is the logic here for the filter that you could set up. All you need to do is swap in these landing page URLs for whatever pages you've worked on, and then use this pipe bar, which signifies or, uh, to do multiple pages. So the way we're going to show that uh, in the next slide here is in this report. So what we're looking at here is all the pages we've optimized and how is the or or organic clicks trending over time. So here we can quickly see that as of October, we're starting to see a really nice trend up. Really going back to July, you could see we were kind of in that 50 to 70 range. Then our optimized pages improved and then now they've improved once again. So we're really able to just look at what we're working on and not all the other pages that may be contributing uh, positively or negatively to the website. Again, you have the option to see the specific pages. If you're using that filter I showed, it's pretty powerful to be able to click on one of these and see just the traffic to this one blog. So in this case, we could see, okay, this blog is starting to get some traffic. Pretty low volume so far, but it's at least getting those initial clicks. Um, so this is our, just a really good way to start before you start getting into some more detail uh, on what you've actually done. So the other thing you can do with this, we're looking at optimized pages. You could easily replicate this for new content and you could do the same filter, but just show new content that you published. And then you could see the trends on how new content is doing. And then you could see the specific URLs below.